All right, so it's time for another update on the Mystery Modern Micro Van. This is a, eh, I think I say this every time. It's part Daihatsu, it's part Mazda, it's part Mitsubishi, it's part Hyundai, it's part Kia, it's part Subaru. Uh, it's kind of a conglomerate of everything. And if you've been following along my videos, you know that I've had this van for oh, three or four years. It's been a bit of a frustration to me because parts are really hard to find and it's never been titled. It was a municipal vehicle. Uh, I bought it from a very sleazy used car salesman. He didn't know much about it and uh, I just liked it. Uh, it just this does not come up very often. I knew being at left-hand drive that it was pretty rare. So I've done a lot of work, got all the doors working. It is a cargo van and that's one thing that I'm not quite used to is the blanked out sides. Um, it's a little hard to see in your blind spots. I got these mirrors, didn't have any mirrors when I got it, and that makes a big difference. Um, I wanted to show a few things that I've done. I've been driving it. Um, I've got a tag, it's temporary. It's good to the uh, December 11th. And I put a plexiglass window in and I figured out my exhaust issue. I sealed with silicone around the plexiglass window, extended my tip and uh, leaned out my fuel mixture and made a big, huge difference. I still have a seal. In fact, it should be on my doorstep tonight. It looks like this, except that it goes all the way around and that'll help seal out any future or more exhaust, but it's 200% better as it is. So I've been using it uh, as a van, loading tools, took the kids to the movies. They rolled around rolled around in the back here without seat belts and seats they just giggled the whole time it's probably super illegal and my wife would spank me if she knew but a few things let's see the car didn't have an ignition switch when i got it this car was missing a lot of parts so i went to the local junkyard up the street and i got an ignition switch for a honda uh, accord you can see it lights up when i turn it to the first click there and then when i turn it on like that so it's got a honda key i've uh also got the fuel mixture i think i mentioned that right uh the gas pedal was sticking a little bit i had to put another spring in the motorcycle carburetor and i had to run a return line in case i needed to run more fuel pressure so i had to do some tweaking on the carburetor and then i just put in a um, set of driving lights you can see this little light light up here right here Oops, I don't have a little panel, and they go uh, turn on these lights out front here. It's kind of bright. They're LEDs. I thought people could see me coming a little better. They're really bright. I hope they're not pointed up. This is the first time out with them, so I'm going to give them a try. Light up our night, but it's really nice to have a vehicle that has lights, <laughs> a wiper, and heater you wouldn't know how many microcars are deficient in any or all of those departments. So uh, I'm excited about driving this thing. It's, I wouldn't say it's fast, but it's fairly torquey. It's 843 cc's. I think it's about 40 horsepower, it's overhead cam. So it does have some zip. It's a five speed, cruise is really nice on the highway. I've put about 60 miles, 79 kilometers. I'm not sure how many miles that is. I've gone through about half a tank of gas. It's been really fun. I've been driving it every day. I've really been enjoying it more so than I would have thought um, for such an oddball little thing. Looks like a little commercial uh, van for a campus. Nobody has really mentioned anything to me, which is unusual. Typically when I drive one of the Subaru 360 vans, I get thumbs up and I get, hey, what is that? Nobody said a word. Uh, it must blend in and look more modern and just be not as uh, the silhouette must be just more conforming to vehicles out there. Anyhow, this is the uh, update for what's going on now. I've been tinkering around with it and I'm going to drive it home now and enjoy it some more. And hopefully my tags, my real license plates will be in the mail